For the past three years, I have not known how it feels to lie on a bed, a good bed. I've been lying on this mat. I think when I get into America the first night, just have a nice sleep on it. On, if I'm provided with a, a good bed, I have a nice sleep. Like all the refugees in this camp, Israel Novidor fled Nigeria because of political persecution. I've been here since 1996. If I were to stay in Nigeria, they might probably kill me. So I fled here. Nobody would want to be here. Nobody would like to be a refugee. look around you see that this is not a decent place for family to stay you can't have water in the tent and you always have to go to the public tap and pick up water there is no place to relieve yourself you either go to the bush or you go to the infested toilet there in the daytime when the sun comes there's no protection whatsoever when the rain falls, you go outside and you hold in the ropes so that the place will not collapse. That's the way it has been for the past few years living here. We we'll go to the bush to fetch these crops because you cannot do without meat. But we are eating it by the grace of God and we are living today. Now today, the total is 32. 26 adults, 4 kids and 2 infants. But the flight is early tonight. It's 9 o'clock. Each week, a few residents of this camp leave for resettlement. My friend is going to Texas today. With these 32 people who are going to America. In three days, Israel and his family will be part of a group going to Chicago. And I think as an immigrant moving into America, and being in the northern part of America, that I'll be treated like any other black man in the northern part of America. Today, the blacks in the, in the northern part of America, they are free. They are not discriminated against as those in the south. When I read novels, I hear about hamburger. I don't even know what a hamburger is. Uh, so I, I will go there, I will learn, I will eat with them. I've not been to America before. When I get there, I will, I will, I will join others, do the way they do. That's all. I heard a lot about the Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls. I think they do they do a lot of the NBA games. <laughs> so <laughs> my problem is that I'm shot. If I go to Chicago, maybe if I don't play soccer, I'll love to play baseball. Well, anything you want is there. I know that. A lot of people have struggled in America, but I don't feel America will disappoint me. Today, when you leave here and enter that bus there to go to the airport, be determined, be ready to walk. If you don't succeed, Ogoni has failed. Your success is your family success. It is your village success. If you fail, it is your family failure. It is Ogoni failure. We have all failed. May the Lord be with you as you go. Oh, we 
have LA, 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 and Chicago. I want baby door, Israel, and your wife. I will be leaving a lot of people behind. My friends, my parents. For the past two years, huh? I've not seen my parents. It's not easy running away from your woman. <laughs> the idea of America has only been from the films. If I, now that I'm going to America, I think that I am just like Eddie Murphy coming to America. For the families of Berine Viva Lawani and Israel and Ngozi Nuidor, arrival in the U.S. is a typically anonymous and bureaucratic experience. In Chicago, Israel and his family move into a low-income complex in the uptown neighborhood. So this is home, eh? Mm. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what's that? Your room. Line on the phone. <laughs> you hear about America, and people think that uh, there is uh, gold in the road, and everybody will drive a car. Things are not what we see back home about America, believe me. You will see people sleeping on the street. There is crime in America too. I know from Africa, somebody knocking and just say, come on in. No, if somebody knocked to your door, there's this small hole you look through. I don't know whether you have seen. You say, who is knocking my door? And if they don't say who they are, don't open to them. Your pen is a special four digit number that makes your Illinois link card work. Unlike other immigrants, refugees such as the Agonis may receive public assistance while gaining a foothold in America. The Illinois Link Terminal will then print a receipt. But they must repay the cost of the airfare that brought them here. For Israel and his family, it totals more than $3,000. How much is left in your account? Wow, that was easy, just like the instructor said. Family of four gets 414, that's the max. The money we're going to link, the first check might be more because of the prorated check. And your food stamps are going to the link. The medical card will be mailed to the house. Do you have any questions for me? Any questions? Uh, I, don't know, I don't know a whole lot about uh, the things you're talking about. Uh, so I don't have any questions for now. It's time for you to eat hamburger, man. Where's your snack? It's really my first hamburger. I saw McDonald's in, in a film uh, coming to America. I want to taste it and see how it tastes like. Sylvia. Sylvia, why do you have two? I get you the name one. Well, the other one is, uh, it's interesting. I don't know. I'm unable to define the whole thing. With time, I'll be able to define everything. I'll know what is underneath, what is on top, and what is in between. 